Uh, David, it's great to have you on the show today. Let's talk about uh, the NSC market performance uh, today. And of course, a lot of trader, traders are concerned about what we saw last week. Uh, it may be up today, but can this be sustained? That's the main question uh, we have right now. And of course, we know that the debt, man debt, debt management office came out saying that it will be um, um, bidding, it will be putting on bid um, some bonds by Wednesday. So of course, there's some concern over how much liquidity or how liquidity is going to be tight in the system. What's your take, David? Thank you very much, uh, Ushe. It's a pleasure being with you. Just like you mentioned, the Nigerian equities uh, market uh, closed a little bit uh, higher today. It appreciated by about 35 points, uh, which is a positive way to begin the week. Uh, a week that uh, could uh, be eventful, considering the fact that uh, on Wednesday, DMO will be selling about 75 billion Naira worth of Treasury bills, which could provoke uh, a little macroeconomic liquidity squeeze. And if you add that to the monetary tightening policy of the monetary authorities, then you will appreciate the fact that the liquidity squeeze is likely to be exacerbated to the detriment of equities within the week. And so it's a week that may be very difficult to predict in terms of that perhaps uh, the market could be driven up. But we cannot uh, uh, wish away some events that could uh, tilt uh, the, 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 the direction of the market. For instance, if we have some uh, unusual transactions like the M&As which we had uh, on Tiger brand and USCN, or USCN, uh, sorry, Tiger Brand uh, and Dangote Flower, and then USCN and Livestock Feeds, then we could have some uh, fundamental uh, uh, factors that could drive the market. But as it is, without any uh, more effect of Q2 uh, results uh, hitting the market that could shape the direction of the market, one would say that the market would uh, be driven by the forces of supply and demand subject to activities in the domestic and global macroeconomies. Uh, as it is now, the, 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 the fillers from the global macroeconomy don't really give uh, positive uh, 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 signals for equities considering the fact that we have reports that uh, China slowed down, uh, I think, in the last month, mm. and that could uh, impact negatively on the price and well, demand for crude oil. Well, David, I mean, let's talk about some of those uh, factors that you're saying will drive the market. As you know, our banking sector definitely is one of the most important sectors uh, uh, that investors tend to gravitate towards. Now, interbank rates reached about 38% last week. Of course, there was a lot of concern about how this was going to affect our banking sector and, of course, affect our markets. Now, we've seen them come down a bit. They were at 15%. We heard they're back up to about 20%. How do you see these interbank rates affecting the banking sector specifically uh, as we go forward? Yes, if you look at the performance of most of the key banking stocks today, uh, you'll discover that the demands were quite high. First Bank uh, actually sold, um, traded over 29 million units uh, and was up by about 2 kobo. Uh, Zenith Bank also traded heavily up by about 10 kobo. GT Bank was flat. Uh, UBA also traded heavily. And so it's not unlikely that investors uh, are already positioning in the banking sector considering the fact that uh, the tightening of monetary policies uh, could drive up interest rate, which uh, are actually positive, uh, which is uh, positive for banking uh, uh, companies, because uh, all they need to do now is uh, to position in uh, fixed income and earn very huge uh, returns on their uh, on their investment, and so investors uh, are perhaps already seeing. Uh, the kind of uh, effect that will have on the banking industry and their positioning. And so when you now have a macroeconomic uh, liquidity squeeze occasioned by uh, monetary policy tightening, it means that the fixed income market is going to be driven up. Financial assets are going to flow more to fixed income. And again, uh, the equities uh, will, will be crowded out together with the real productive uh, sector of the economy. 
And so within the equities market, we may see a trade-off mm. with uh, banking stocks uh, benefiting heavily from the uh, monetary tightening uh, uh, measures and uh, other sectors except perhaps uh, those sectors that are completely essential uh, that uh, consumers may uh, the, uh, the consumption may be inelastic like the okay. consumer or Dave, the healthcare that, mm. that may be unchanged mm. well david let's talk about other sectors uh, uh, you're talking about other sectors and how they'll be impacted uh, going forward and I, i'm very curious about the healthcare sector not a sector we talk about a lot but uh, we saw may and baker come out with not so good q2 results we saw revenue slightly up but PBT, profit before tax, quite down. What is your take on that sector's performance specifically as we go forward? Uh, from what I have seen, the, the factors uh, affecting that um, uh, sector may not be uniform to all the companies that operate in that sector. The fortunes are a little bit mixed. Uh, the second quarter result released by GlaxoSmith was quite impressive and uh, I think Evans Medical too has uh, come back uh, to profitability, okay. uh, although what we're seeing in Mayan Baker is not encouraging. The second quarter profit after tax, although positive, okay. uh, is about, uh, is more than 50% decline when compared to the performance uh, within the same period last year. And this is uh, a company that has now diversified beyond just uh, healthcare. Oh, David. Uh, Mayan Baker, yeah, Uche. Yes, well, certainly yeah. we'll continue to watch that stock. Unfortunately, we have to end it there. Uh, but thank you so much for giving us your take on the market. Uh, that was David Adonry. He's with Lambeth Trust and Investment.